Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hey, Jesus is here. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hey. We come to magnify the Lord. We come to lift him up today. I don't know what you came to do, but I came to get my praise on. Praise the Lord, everybody. Yeah, God is good. All the time. All the time, God is good. We're in for a good time in Jesus. I didn't come to be quiet. I came to get my praise on. Because God has been good to me. He's brought us through another week. And here we are, the second Sunday in November. In the state of Arizona, giving God the praise. If you're ready to worship God with us, wherever you are, social media or in the house, let's let the world know how much we love Jesus today. Yeah. Oh, Lord, you're mighty. 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 Come on. Lord, you're mighty. Hey. Lord, you're mighty. Hey, Lord, your body. 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 Hey, Lord, your body. Lord your body, 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 come on, Lord your body, hey, I praise you because you're mighty. I worship you because you're mighty. I love you because you're mighty. I adore you because you're mighty. We praise you because you're mighty. We love you because you're mighty. Hey, you're mighty. Love you, mighty. Hey, Lord, you're mighty. Hey, Lord, you're mighty. Hey, Lord, you're mighty. Lord, you're mighty. Lord, you're mighty. Lord, your body, Lord, your body. Oh, 
Worship God what you deserve it this morning. Amen. Yeah. God deserves the praise. Amen. Do y'all know it's a lot of churches? Doors are open this morning. They praising God because Biden won. I got the church doors open. It never shut, first of all. But these church doors gonna always be open 
because we serve a mighty God. I've seen so many people that hadn't been in church since March that wanted to go to church yesterday just so they can get their praise on Amen. because Biden won. Mm. The devil is a lie. Right. Don't get it twisted. Right. God is still in control. Right. Don't you ever forget it. Right. Yeah, he deserves it. Amen. He deserves the glory. Amen. God deserves the honor. And our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, deserves all the Amen. praise. My hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah belongs to you.
Christian church where our motto is without faith it is impossible to please the Lord it also goes on to say that he that cometh to God but believe that he is anybody believe God today 
Anybody know he is? Anything you want him to be? You need food on your table? He is. You need a healing? He is. You need some money? He is. Yay! Glory to God. I fight up for Jesus. I'm on fire for Jesus. Jeremiah said, it's just like fire. Shut up. All in my bones. I can't keep it to myself. I got to tell somebody about the goodness of Jesus. And all. Oh, hey. He's done for me. Hey, glory. Glory to God. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand praise. Glory to God. Glory to God. Yeah. Glory to God. Somebody ain't had church in a long time. And because it's nice outside, we can open the doors. Hello, neighborhood. Hello, sunshine. Hello, community. Here we are. Giving God the praise. Like we know we would. Yeah. Yeah. Glory to God. Yeah. I just want to praise him. Let's do that and we're done. I just want to praise him forever. Because that's what we came here to do. Amen. 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 Just want to praise him forever for all he's done for me. Amen. Yeah. Blessings and glory and honor. It all belongs to him. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Come on. If you know it, put your hands together. Those of you on social media, you know it. Put your hands together. As we continue to worship God in this place. For all he's done for us.
blessing me. of the word which I have given you, the teachings which I have discussed with you, remain in me and I will remain in you, just as no branch can bear fruit by itself. Without remaining in the vine, neither can you, unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. The one who remains in me and I in him bears much fruit, for apart from me, you can do nothing. Thank you, Jesus, for your word. Come on and bless the Lord for that word. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. 
thank you, Jesus. Come on, hallelujah. Let's, let, let's just pray to become better branches. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name, Father God. Lord, we bless you right now, God. We welcome you into this place right now, Father God. Every vessel in this room, oh God, welcomes you, God. Lord, we ask you in the name of Jesus that you will continue to sup with us, oh God. Continue to speak, Lord God, through the man of God, Father, that we may hear what you have speak to the church in this hour, God. Lord, we thank you for everything that you've done, Lord God. Lord, we just want to say thank you again, Father God, for you woke us up this morning, clothed in our right minds, oh God. You have given us a mind to come on in the house one more time and give you the glory, the honor, and the praise, Father. Lord, we bless you, Lord Jesus, because the bed we slept in was not our cooling board, oh God. Lord, we just want to say thank you, Lord God. But we have eyes to see, oh God. We looked around, oh God, and we found all things is well, God. Lord, we bless you right now, Father God. As we said, thank you right now, God, for our families, oh God. Lord, we just bless you and praise you and glorify you, Lord God. Lord, we decree and declare right now in the name of Jesus that our unsaved loved ones will be saved, oh God. That those, Father God, are striving for the perfection, oh God, will continue to remain in you, Father God. And you remain in them, God. Lord, we ask you in the name of Jesus, God, to grant unto us, Father God, your peace and joy, Father God, that shall remain in us, Father. Lord, we ask you now, God, that you bless every listener, Father God. Those, oh God, who don't know you and are part of the sins, oh God. Lord, we ask you right now, Father God, stop with them right now, Father God. Let them know, Father God, that you're speaking to them right now, Lord God. And you want them to know that you're waiting for them to turn around and run to you, God. In the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you right now, God. We glorify you right now, God. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Lord, we praise you now, God. Lord, we ask you in the name of Jesus that you would just move by your spirit in the house, oh God. As we magnify you, Father God. We just want to tell you, God, how much we love you, Lord Jesus. How much we bless your Holy Spirit. How much we welcome you, oh God, into our vessels, God. Lord, come on in the room, oh God, and have your way, God. Bless every word spoken in the house today, Father God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Dress us, oh God, that we may be found worthy, oh God, when your son Jesus returns, God. Lord, we ask these and any other blessings, oh God, in Jesus' holy name. The people said, Amen. 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 Come on and glorify him. Exalt him. Exalt him. Exalt him. Exalt him. Oh, you ought to exalt him right now by lifting up your hands. But somebody ain't got hands to lift up. You ought to exalt him right now. Because he woke you up. He didn't have to do it, but he did. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Good morning, Greater Faith Christian Church. Welcome to our live services via website, gfccaz.org, or Facebook Live under Greater Faith Page. These are announcements for this Sunday, November 8th, 2020. Our Sunday services are Intercessory Prayer, 8.30 a.m. Sunday School, 9 a.m. Number to call in to participate in both prayer and Sunday school is 605-313-4829. Access code 106-5014-CAL. Our church doors are open for anyone who would like to worship at 2819 West Maryland in Phoenix, Arizona. Morning service is at 10 a.m. sharp. Birthdays, Letitia Ann Wright, November 3rd. Stephanie Walls, November 7th. Isaiah De La Rosa, November 7th. These are all my announcements on this beautiful Lord's Day. And my closing scripture is coming from Romans 12, 2. Don't become so well adjusted to your culture that you fit into it without even thinking. Instead, fix your attention on God. You'll be changed from the inside out. Readily recognize what he wants from you and quickly respond to it. Unlike the culture around you always dragging you down to its level of immaturity, God brings the best out of you 
develops well-formed maturity in you. Our life is in Jesus. Our hope is in Jesus. The way is Jesus. Amen. God bless. Enjoy service. Come on, give the Lord a hand praise this morning. Amen. Amen. We give God the praise for you and I being in our rightful place in the house of God, giving him all the glory, the honor, and the praise. I'm glad Miss Regina got a chance to hang out with us today because she told us she had to work last week, but things change. I mean, yeah. Yeah, they was probably mad at you because Biden won, so they gave you a day off. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just tripping. My cousin got famous last week, y'all. I just got to share this one with y'all right quick. My cousin Steve, well, I think he's famous anyway because that's my cousin. Uh, my cousin, I preached for him in Detroit last year, Memorial Day weekend. Pastor Steve Bland, pastor of Liberty Temple Baptist Church. He was on MSNBC Wednesday. And uh, Michigan was in the battle of who was going to win. Was it going to be blue or was it going to be red? Steve was all up in the middle of it. That's just like my cousin Steve. He's all up in the middle of it. But they put the mic in his face. And he got a chance to talk. I just knew they were going to have to. They did it twice. But the first time they did it, he kept talking. The second time, well, thank you, Steve. Thank you. Because Steve will talk. He's just like his dad. His dad used to talk our ears off. But uh, he said something famous. He said, we have gone from picking cotton to picking presidents. When he said that, everybody on national news and, and everything, everybody repeating what my cousin said. I told him, you better hear him get a t-shirt, get that t-shirt. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, he better do something with it because they gonna take that and run with it. I know they are, but uh, it was my cousin, my first cousin, Steve, that said it. So yeah, I'm always been happy for Steve and, and what he's doing, but uh, he got a chance to get in front of the camera, so he took full advantage of it. You know, praise God. But it's just good to be in the house of the Lord one more time. I'm glad to be here to get my praise on, because God has been good. And, and don't take this time lightly or for granted, because I say this all the time. We're here today. You don't know what's going to happen next Sunday. You know, I, I mean, so so while you, get, while you have a chance, just... When you hear the songs, when you hear it, when you can, if you don't, if you're too ashamed, like not ashamed, but if you're too embarrassed up that way, like Lorraine, you know, Lorraine, she 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 she, she, she patting her feet, you just don't see it. <laughs> she'll she'll clap like this, but but she's just a reflection of me, cause that's how shy I used to be. Could y'all believe I used to be that shy? Could y'all believe that? Oh my God, I used to be so shy. It was real bad, but I just praise God. He got me out of that. I think I was 16 when I finally got out of my shyness. 16, yeah. And she's 14, so she'll be 15 next month. So one more year, she'll be jumping around and shouting like me. Glory to God. Last Sundays, for the last Sunday since July, I've been coming home, y'all, exhausted from praise and worship, and. Uh, <laughs> Last Sunday, my son came over, and I told him, they, they, they always like to do stuff when they like to come over the house. And I, you, would you? I'm like, no, I'm exhausted. Terrence said, because you be, you be jumping up all down all Sunday. You be moving around and running and dancing and shouting. I said, man, I can't help it. When I think of the goodness of Jesus, yeah. Yeah. I, and I'll be that way at home, too, when I think of the goodness of Jesus. I'll I, I be shouting like that at home, too. I'll just be just as exhausted at home getting my praise on because Jesus Christ is so real in my life. And uh, he's worthy. Yeah, he is. He's, you know, he's still yet worthy to be praised. Not me, not you. Nothing we can do that God can't do it better. So I give God the glory for that. It's good to be here. We're going to baptize today. We got two to go down in the water today. And we give God the praise for that. We're ready. We're ready to go in Jesus' name. Now, whose birthday had a, who had a birthday last week? Was yours last week, last week, or the week before? 
It was Sunday. Yeah, yeah. So we'll, yeah, it, it was last week then. We're gonna serenade. And how old are you? Listen to him. 16. I cannot believe it. And I know dad can't believe it. That <laughs> Dwayne said, no. <laughs> I know y'all can't believe it. They just growing up before our very eyes. And and yesterday on Facebook, I saw a picture of Isaiah when he was seven. I had to show first lady. I said, look, this is the Isaiah I know right there. That's the one I know. Stand up now. Stand up, Isaiah. Look how tall he is now. He catching up with me. 13. Look at 13, y'all. Teenager now. You couldn't tell him nothing at 12. Oh, boy. <laughs> what, what you say? Oh, she, mama say, oh. Yes, I can, she said. She, 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 you, you one of the mamas with that look. She got the look. You got the look. Glory to God. So I just praise God for see the young men of God growing. Growing. I'm going to baptize two tall young men today. They, I'm still trying to figure out how we're going to get y'all in the water. <laughs> but we're going to be all right. Glory to God. So let's serenade them right quick. Can we do that? And we'll go on and, and fellowship one with another. And I got a word for you. And we'll be going down in Jesus' name, and then we'll be on our way home. All right? All right. Praise the Lord. Hey, right there, maestro in the house. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. birthday, young man. May God bless you all with many, 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 many more birthdays. And I will do, I'm going to tell you something my grandmama used to always tell me. Keep your hand in God's hand. If God don't tell y'all nothing else, if, if, if the birthday, I think this is the biggest birthday gift you can get by someone telling you to keep your hand in God's hand. You'll never go wrong. Now, I'm going to be real with y'all. We're going to slip and fall because we have slipped and fall. We try to be nice. We try to do the best job we can in this world. But we, because the devil don't play fair, might try and trip y'all up one day. But don't forget that God is still with you that he can pick you up when you fall, that he can wipe you off. Just make sure you say, Lord, forgive me. I'm so sorry. And just get on with your life. Just don't stay there. Because when y'all stay there, then you're no good for yourself or nobody else. All right? So y'all remember that. Keep your hand in God's hand. Amen? Amen. Now at this time, let's fellowship one with another. What a fellowship, what a joy divine, leaning on the everlasting arms. Come on.
It was down at the cross where my Savior died. Down where I'm cleansing from sin, I cried. There to my heart was the blood of life. I'm singing glory to his name. Oh, I'm singing glory to his name. Precious name, I'm singing glory to his name. Yeah, there to my heart was the blood of life. Glory to now come on, put your hands together right quick. Come on. Father in heaven, I come this morning, Father, in the name of Jesus, praising your mighty name, Lord, the praise, the glory, the honor, it all belongs to you. We thank you, Lord, for this hour that you have blessed us to assemble together to give your name the praise, to give you all the glory, for you deserve it, Lord. We thank you for last night's sleep and this morning arising. Some of them, some of us, Lord, woke up with the right frame of mind, and some of us woke up, Lord, hearts heavy. We ask, Lord, that you will comfort and keep them right now in the name of Jesus. Let them know that the only way they can get their joy back is to get to know more about you. They can get their joy back, Lord, if they just call on you. They can get their peace back because you are the Prince of Peace. All they got to do is acknowledge you in all their ways. Help us to continue to understand that you are always in control, Lord, regardless of the outcome. Regardless of the situation, you are still God. We thank you, Lord, for these your sisters and brothers, your children in this room, Lord. Bless us and keep us as only you know how. Now, Lord, as I talk to these your people today, I pray that you will move me out of the way. Because you know I can't do this. I can't do it by myself. And I can't even do it without you, Lord. To be honest, Lord, I can't do nothing without you. So I pray, Lord, that you would just use this body, this old lump of clay, for your glory on today. Talk through me. Speak to me. That I'll be able to share your word with everyone that hears, Lord, today. In the name of Jesus. Then, Lord, I pray that someone that hear your word today won't hesitate, but just come running to want to know more about you that they will give their lives to you so that they could too live eternity 
but enjoy the life down here as they deserve in the name of Jesus. Knowing that you are God and beside thee there is none other. And now, Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O oh Lord, my strength, my redeemer. We'll be forever careful to give your name to praise. We'll take none for ourselves. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. Come on, give the Lord a hand praise. <laughs> Glory to God. Glory to God. Let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise for our musicians this morning. Give God the glory for them. I tried to keep up with Isaiah, and I went to the car dealership last week. I told him, that, you know, he asked me how I was doing. It was Wednesday. It, it was Wednesday, wasn't it, baby? Yeah, it was Wednesday. Wednesday. Well, my car, my Jaguar needed a battery, so I had to. It took me an hour and, and a day to figure out how to get this battery out the car, and I couldn't figure it out. And the car was dead, so I gave it a jump and went to O'Reilly's to try and get a battery, and I paid for the, the battery just to find out that O'Reilly don't change batteries in a Jaguar. So I said, well, give me my money back. Had me waste my time standing in line <laughs> just to find out. Yeah. So I called the boss and told the boss, baby, I got to drive to Scottsdale Road anyway. <laughs> so I got on the one-on-one -on -one to Scottsdale Road and got to my favorite car dealership and walked in there, and they all know me. Hey, brother, hey, how y'all doing? I'm just here to to get a battery, and I thought it was just going to be vip, vip, and I'm gone, right? But no, they want to make sure everything is well and check the tires and everything else. But then I tell you what, we're going to give you this car and send you on your way. <laughs> they gave me a SUV Jag F-Pace 2020. Woo! Everything in there talking. <laughs> you unlock the thing, and you see Jaguar on the ground. And we was like, well. I said, I told Isaiah, I said, they messing with me now, nah, man. I got to hurry up and get this car back because first lady going to kill me if I, if I come back. Where the, where the car at? I'm like, Baby, they talked me into it. Beep, 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 beep. Now you go back and get that car. I ain't want to go through all that. I do not want to deal with that, Dwayne, man. I don't want to deal with that. They say... Happy wife, happy life. Uh, I used to say happy me, happy we. <sighs> but the saying for the day is happy spouse, happy house. It covers everyone. Yeah, when you start making it personal, then y'all y'all mess up. You know, happy spouse, happy house. And the church said, amen. amen. On last Sunday, yeah, give God the glory for that. Come on, give the Lord a hand clap of praise. <laughs> on last Sunday, I talked about God's report. I talked about the healing power of Jesus Christ. I talked to you and told you that Jesus Christ is a healer. I told you if you need a healing, all you need to do is call on Jesus. And this week, I always say, Lord, I thank you for the words you have for me. I say it in advance because I know he got one for me. So I just, in advance, said, Lord, I thank you for your word. And he gave me a word on Wednesday. And a couple of months ago, I preached about uh, Second Chron I, I speak on, on, on the scripture verses of 2 Chronicles 7.14. And so what I want to do is I want to add to 2 Chronicles 7.14 today because the Lord gave that to me because it has to do with healing. 
And I said, oh, yeah, Lord, I hear you. I hear you. Because I talked about healing last Sunday. Last Sunday, Jesus Christ is our healer. He's still a healing. He's still healing today, amen? But God said he would heal us too if we do certain things. Second Chronicles 7.14 is for our hearing today. But for those of you who missed that first message I did, he gave me a whole different message to give to you. So it says, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven. Let me go a step further. Then will we hear from heaven. And he will forgive our sin. And he will heal our land. And the church said amen. amen. The word for today is God said he would heal the land. God said he would heal the land. Look at your neighbor. You ain't even got to touch him. You know I don't let y'all touch anyway. I just say look at him. Just say God said man. I said, say God said. I don't know if you know I said. <laughs> Look at your neighbor. Look at the other neighbor. Maybe they'll wake up. Look at them. Look at the other one. Say, say God said. God said. That's much better. I know the Lord said, yes, what I'm talking about. Because he said it. Yes. Say, God said. God said. He would. He would. Heal, our land. heal our land. Yeah. And the church said, amen. amen. That's what the word of God says. Beloved, now is the time to move in Christ Jesus. With the election finally over, hallelujah, the people have spoken. Joe and Kamala, Camilla, or however name y'all pronounce her, but the correct spelling and the connect. The correct pronunciation is Kamala. All right? Joe and Kamala will get the chance to be running things. I have seen people during the election finally praying together for Trump to lose. And I have seen people Praying for Biden to win. We should have been praying together as a people a long time ago. Because y'all want what y'all want. Y'all like the click. Y'all like to be in bunches and, and do what I say. And if I don't want to jump in on with your side, then I'm blackballed. Do y'all know how many families have been broken up because of 2016? Because some of them sided with Trump and some of them sided on the Democratic side? Do y'all know how many families have broken up because of that? You all have forgotten and I'm not just talking about you all in here. I'm talking about because you got people watching on social media. You all have forgotten the prerequisite for getting things done. You forgot to talk to Jesus. You left Jesus out. And for four years, y'all got what y'all got. How did that work out for you? You made it worse. It, it got worse. The more, now y'all heard me. Now come on, let's be real. Y'all heard me all the time saying, I'm praying for him. Because I know that's the right thing to do. As a real believer, as a man of God, I'm supposed to pray for those that have ruled over me. 
We should have been praying together as a people for the word of God says in 1 Timothy 2, 1 through 3. Therefore, I exalt first of all that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men. Second verse says, for kings, and in this case here, kings means presidents. And all who are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and reverence. Third verse says, for this is good and acceptable in the sight of God, our Savior. That is the word of God. Y'all got to read, y'all got to hear what the Amplifier say. This is what the Amplifier said. I'm sorry, not the Amplifier. I'm going to go straight to the message because y'all can do the Amplifier. That's John's favorite one. Mine and John's favorite scripture uh, uh, text is the Amplifier. But I went to the Message Bible today. Since the Message Bible is broken down like y'all reading the newspaper, so y'all can really understand it, this is what the Message Bible said. The first thing I want you to do is pray. Pray every way you know how. For everyone you know. That's the first thing he said. Yes, all inclusive. I, that don't, man, boy, I thought about you this morning as God is my witness. And Minister Sean, and walk through the door. I just had to stop to get a, 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 a pause. It's good to see you, man. The message Bible says, first thing I want you to do is pray. Pray every way you know how. For everyone you know. Pray especially, listen to this, for rulers and their governments to rule well. So we can be quietly about our business of living simply in humble contemplation. Now, was that powerful or what? That's the word of God. So that we can live quietly about our business of living simply in humble contemplation. It ends by saying, this is the way our Savior God wants us to live. See, y'all going to pray now. Because who y'all want is in the office. Y'all gonna get your prayer on now. But where was the prayers when they needed it? Where was the prayers when the world needed it? Glory to God. When I asked God who to vote for, I didn't go into being a Republican or a Democrat. I asked God because I am a man of God and I wanted him to tell me who he wanted me to vote for. When I got my answer, Lorraine don't want me to tell y'all that I voted for Donald Trump. I'm going to say it and I don't give a doggone how y'all feel about it. Let me give you a pause right there because it was my vote. I voted for who I wanted to vote for. I don't have no hang up with the president. You know why? Because I prayed for him. I prayed for him. I asked the Lord who, the, who the, I should vote for. What God told me is the answer I give you. I just want to see if you was going to be obedient or not. I told my wife three weeks before the election was up, I mean, before the election, November 3rd, I told her Trump messed up for himself with his mouth so much that Biden is going to win this election. That's just what I told her. He messed up with his mouth so much that Biden is going to win this election. That's just what I said. We, common sense, right? We, look, all news ain't fake news. Y'all got ears. He that have ears, let him hear. 
Come on. What the Lord is saying to the church. For four years, y'all had a chance to get right with God, to get closer to God. And what do y'all do? I ain't praying for that man. I ain't praying. But everybody and their mama and their mama's mama was praying November 3rd. And they wasn't praying for Trump. Y'all could use that same power to get things done in this world. If you just stand on the word of God and it don't have nothing to do with Republican or Democrat. It had all to do with the kingdom of God. Because the Bible says that seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things will be added unto you. Yeah. Let's give the Lord a hand clap of praise for, for the word of God. Amen. No, I'm not ashamed of who I voted for. And y'all ain't ashamed that y'all voted for Biden. Why should I be ashamed that, that I voted for Trump? There's a reason why I voted for Trump. First of all, because God told me to do it. She even asked me, Lorraine asked me, why are you voting? I said, because God told me to do it. And really, ain't none of y'all business who I voted for, but I'm a grown man. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a big boy. I can handle myself. I ain't scared of you. And nobody else for that matter. And the church said, amen. amen. No, I didn't say what I say to start a rift because I've been praying to Jesus. And he's got his back. He's got my back. Yeah, you had all these people praying and all those crazy prayers you saw going on. And look, God still gets the glory. And let me give y'all a news flash here and I'll go on with the message. If it was God's will for Trump to be in office in 2016, then obviously it's God's will for Biden to be in office today. Come on now, let's not get it twisted. We still serve the same God. God has the final say. He's the one that put Biden in that office. Not you. Come on. No, 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 no. Y'all thought y'all was doing it. Getting y'all. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. No, no, no. Yeah. When I got my answer, I prayed to God for his will to be done. Not for Trump to win and Biden to lose. I prayed to God that his will be done. Because somebody's going to win and somebody's going to lose. God always has the final say. Whether Republican or Democrat. And if you think things are going to be all right. If you think things are going to get better because Biden won, think again. Boy, listen to these preachers in this room today. There are enemies out there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw this too at you. Hear me and hear me well. There are enemies out there who's mad because their leader lost. It's sad but true. We should be more careful now because there are some folks out there who didn't like the results of the election. There's some folks out there that saw losers. As long as they had their Make America Great Again hats on, it was all good. I wonder, I told my wife, I wonder how many Make America Great Again hats I'm going to see now. Mm. Beloved, we dropped the ball. We stopped praying for our leaders because they weren't a Democrat or a Republican. We stopped praying for the president because he acted like he didn't care about nobody but his own. But beloved, I stopped by this morning to let you know that prayer changes things. He showed y'all, he had to remind y'all in the election because I seen folks on Facebook that I knew said, I ain't praying for him. Never called his name. Called him 45. <laughs> Never prayed for him. 
But on November 3rd, everybody was praying. And when you pray together, much prayer, little prayer, no prayer, and that's what was happening for four years. No prayer, no power. You got what you got. But God. He still kept you through those four years, didn't he? I never wanted for nothing in those four years. I got a house in that four years. We got some things. We was blessed. Church doors never closed. Looking at y'all, y'all doing well. Nobody fell on hard times. Anybody here fell on hard times in the last four years I've been here? Look at that. Look at that. I don't see no, I don't see no hands. God is good. Even in the midst of a pandemic, God is good. Yeah, we're still praying for those that lost loved ones. And if y'all see those numbers, they're climbing even more every day as we speak. That's why we have to continue to pray. Can we all come together and pray for a coronavirus to get out of here? They never thought about that, Regina. They never thought about, hey, we all need to come together and pray for this thing. Never even heard it, not once. Anybody besides, has anybody heard that? Think about that. That's a Selah moment. That's sad, isn't it? You're busy looking at y'all circumstances, y'all situation. Y'all forget, y'all looking right at it. But God, glory to God, and I'm almost finished already, see? This is what the Lord wanted me to tell y'all. There's sore losers out there, so y'all be careful. You be prayerful. I got y'all, because I got y'all. I pray for y'all all the time. Without fail. That's what I do. That's my job. That's the easiest part of my day is when I say, Lord, I, I just thank you. Lord, I'm calling you on behalf of Greater Faith Christian Church and the Greater Faith Christian Church family. <laughs> Without fail. And let me give you a news flash. Even those that's not a member here and y'all a member, your seed is part of that prayer. Think about that. If I'm praying for y'all, that means y'all seed cover too. So y'all believe that, that God's got your family. Your prayers are powerful. He will give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your way. That's a prayer. Lord, I pray. See, that's why I pray that prayer over my family every day. And when I give that prayer to the Lord, I don't concern myself with nothing. Where they are, who they are, who they with, where they going. I gave them to Jesus. And I left that alone. That's the only way I can live. Because I got things to do. I don't have time to be sitting around wondering what my wife doing. Who she with. Wonder who she talking to. Who she flirting with. That's all right. God got her. She can go out there and do that what she wants to. That's just between her and God. Y'all feeling me? Yeah, I don't concern myself with that. That's a bunch of, that's a waste of, you're wasting the day. Y'all wasting y'all life. Because the person y'all be concerned about, they going around living their life, having a good time, enjoying themselves. What you doing? Nobody knows the trouble I see. Feeling sorry for yourself. No, shake that thing. No, 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 no. God is still God. He's still on the throne. He still has all power. He can do anything but fail. Is anything too hard for God? That's how we're supposed to think. That's how we're supposed to be as men and women of God. Has nothing to do with Democrat and Republican. And I love them all. I got a lot of Democratic friends. I got a lot of Republican friends. And I love them all, even if they don't love me. Didn't Jesus say you're supposed to love your enemies? So if they mad at me because I voted for Trump, I love you. I love you. Honey, I love you. I do. G Glory to God. Glory to God. We stopped praying. But beloved, I stopped by this morning to let you know that prayer will change any situation in your life. And the church said, amen. Yeah. Beloved, whenever I need answers, I go to God in prayer. 
It doesn't matter when I pray, just as long as I pray, because I know that when I call on Jesus, he will. Hey, I'm about to dance right there. He will answer my prayer. Whether it's, uh, it's, whether it's what I want to hear or what I don't want to hear, God will answer my prayer. I've learned how to, to accept God when he say no. I've learned how to say, all right, Lord, I understand. I'm going to praise you anyway. I know you got something better. I know you're doing something. I know something not right there, but I'm going to worship you. I'm going to take you at your word. Yeah. That's how we're supposed to be. We have so much pressure to deal with each and every day. The best way to deal with any pressure is to bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise. That's why I be tired on Sundays when I come home. His praise. Yeah. Will continually be in my mouth. And I just might get a dance on before it's over. Even when we say amen, I don't need no music. I can get my dance on. God gave me rhythm. I can move. I don't need no music. All I need is the Holy Ghost. I think about what is done. I think about where I've been and what I've been through that he brought me out. I love him because he's been good. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory to God. I will bless the Lord at all times. God has the right to direct your life. If you let God direct your life, he will direct your life. And we should welcome him to do just that. When we pray for things, it should be a natural part of our life because of our relationship with God. We should feel very comfortable coming to God with our needs, with our concerns, and whatever issue we face in our lives. God is the problem solver. Anybody know that? I love my wife's testimony when she was in school that she needed some money. That testimony when uh, her mother wouldn't play the number. See, it don't matter. Huh? She said it was the exact amount of money that she needed when she was in college. Now, don't get me wrong. We're not gamblers, and nobody else is a gambler. But if God tell you to go to the lake and bend over and look at the fish, ooh, man, and then grab one and pull it out and look at his mouth and pull his money out, if you're obedient, heaven belongs to you. If you're obedient, you're going to get your reward. If you obedient, you're going to get your blessing. Hey, Lord. That's what happened with her, with, with, with her mother. Her mama wasn't playing no numbers. It was dad that was playing the lottery. But she was too, but not as much because now she don't even look at it. But something like that, if you lay by the spirit of the Lord, and even me, I don't play the lottery because the Lord said you ain't going to never win because I'm your source. That's what the Lord told me. So I ain't played in the lottery in the 21st century. <laughs> this is the 21st century. So since 2000, really back in the late 90s, the Lord told me that. I don't know why you're giving them that dollar. You ain't going to never win because I'm your source. So I take my dollar and sow it into a good ground. Good measure. That dollar. <laughs> Press down. That dollar. <laughs> Shaking together, running over that dollar. Will men give to my bosom that dollar? And that dollar keeps me, keeps me. I don't want for nothing because I sold 
and to the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Yeah, but I think about every now and then. The Lord tell you to go and get that dollar and go play a lottery and just go put that dollar on this number. You don't think God will do that? I'm not telling y'all now, y'all social media, don't think I'm, I'm one of those preachers that say, go play 219. 219. That's a Sunshine the Sun episode. 219, dummy. 219. You didn't want me to play 219. I'm not that type of preacher. I'm not going to tell you to go play a number and God will. No. The devil is a lie. Uh-uh. If I ain't going to do it myself, why in the world I'm going to tell you to do it? But the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. The Lord tell me to go to the lake and get that fish and pull that money out the fish mouth, then I'm going to do it. Whatever he tell me to do, I'm going to do it so I can get my blessing. And the church said amen. amen. That's how we're supposed to be. We hear of the word. When the Lord says jump, I say, Ooh, you, you sure I can get up that high, Lord? He said, uh-huh. Then I, I tried. I'm, I'm crazy enough to try it. I told y'all I was cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo for Jesus Christ. I told you I was. Glory to God. Yeah, when we pray for things, it should be a natural part of our life because of our relationship with God. We should feel very comfortable coming to God with our needs, our concerns, or whatever issues we face in our lives. Uh, furthermore, we should be convinced from what we know according to the word of God that God wants us to rely on him and him alone. Stop putting your trust in man. That's what we mess up too. You put your trust in the preacher and the preacher mess up. And then you get mad at God. And then you stop going to church. The devil is a lie. I keep telling you to trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not to your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. Stop putting your faith and trust in man. I keep telling you that man will fail you every time, but God will never fail you. The Bible says this is the confidence we should have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. According to his will, he hears us. 1 Peter 3.12 says, For the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and his ears are attentive to their prayer. Amen. Beloved, we need to get closer to God. You can't keep on saying, I know God, and don't want to know who he is and what he can do for you. Relationship means having connection with, being related to, a relative, if you will. If you don't know Jesus, you have never received from God complete forgiveness for your sin, if you don't know him. Anybody know Jesus? Ooh, I see a lot of hands up in here. I know Jesus for myself. What does that have to do with it, you ask? Here is an explanation. The Bible says in Isaiah 59, 1, Surely the arm of the Lord is, is not too short to save, nor his ear too dull to hear. Beloved, your iniquities have separated you from God. Your sins have hidden his face from you. So that even though God hears, he will not move because of your sin. That's what's wrong with America today. Anything goes from killing babies to same-sex marriages to greed to the love of money to systemic racism. You name it. Anything goes. But the Bible says, 2 Chronicles 7.14. That if my people, which are called by my name, how many of y'all call, will humble yourself. That's why Trump messed up. He didn't know how to humble himself. And pray. That's what was wrong with the world. They weren't praying. And seek his face. Everybody was seeking his face November 3rd. And turn from their wicked way. That's what you're supposed to do before you start praying. Then... Will we hear from heaven? Then he'll forgive our sin. Then he'll heal our land. God said it. I believe it. And that settles that. The Bible says if we confess our sin, Jesus Christ, be faithful and just to forgive us of our sin and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. I said last Sunday, before you ask God, 
for your healing, you must first repent. Tell them I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do it. Help me. Forgive me. Then ask God for what you want. He'll give it to you. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Hey, glory. Give the Lord a hand, praise. Yeah, my sister was all in the scripture verse on the 15th chapter of John this morning. She did the first five verses. But the seventh verse of that 15th chapter says, If you remain in me, and my words remain in you, you ask whatever you will, and it will be given and done to you. To remain in him and have the words remain in you means to conduct your lives aware of him, relying on him, and listening to what he says. Glory to God. I wonder how many of y'all would have lost y'all mind if God, if y'all asked God who to vote for and he told y'all to vote for Trump. What would y'all have done? Ooh, that's a sailor moment right there. Lord, I wish I could be right there with you when you get that answer. See, that's what's wrong. See, it's almost like somebody that, that really wants this cookie, but I ain't asking mama for it because I know she's going to say no. So I'm going to go in and get that cookie anyway and deal with the consequences later. Did you eat that cookie? No. Crumbs all over your mouth. I wonder if you would like me and say, Lord, who you want me to vote for? And the Lord say, Trump, 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 Trump. And, and you went in there and, and pick Biden. How would y'all feel? Well, you said in your word, here come the Bible readers then. If I forgive, if I ask him for forgiveness, he'll forgive me. Lord, you're going to have to forgive me on this one. Come on now. Y'all know how y'all are. Come on, man. Come on, woman. Come on now. What I love about Jesus, though, we serve a mighty God. We serve a prayer answering God. He said in his word that he will heal our land. And I believe God and I take him at his word. And the church said amen. Come on, give the Lord a hand praise. God said he would heal our land. Another qualifying in 1 John 5, 14 and 50 lets me know that prayer is effective. It says, this is the confidence that we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, then we can give God praise like he deserves. We know that we have what we asked of him. God answers our prayers according to his will and according to his wisdom, according to his grace, according to his love for us and his holiness. That's why I don't pray that Trump win or I didn't pray that Biden wins. I pray that God's will be done so I would be at peace for whoever wins. Glory to God. I'm in so much peace of who won. Y'all don't even understand. I congratulate Biden and, and Harris. I give God the glory for them. I'd also give God the glory for Trump because he was the one that should have had y'all on y'all knees praying and y'all dropped the ball. I could go a whole different way about that. But the Lord is not leading me to say anything. But I will tell you to stay alert, be, yeah, come on, talk to me. About your father's business because everybody from this point on is 
since I would say the year 2000 have been helping to usher in the end times. I like to go. It, it can go. It can it'll go back farther than that. If you if you ask me, I say it started personally. I think it started with Ronald Reagan. Me personally, and it's my opinion. It's my opinion. That's what I like. You got an opinion. I got an opinion. Respect my opinion like I respect yours. I think it went all the way back from Reagan, all the way to now. <laughs> but I, I think you're gonna see even more of the end times coming. That is the word of God. In the last days, perilous times shall come. Y'all know it. Y'all know it. So don't be surprised when y'all see stuff. The whole world was celebrating on yesterday. The whole world, not just the United States. I saw the news yesterday. The whole world was celebrating. The whole world was dancing in the street yesterday. They was partying like it was 1999. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I was just, I, I was just, I got, I see, my mind is totally different. I was always from a spiritual realm. I wish the world was in the streets praising God. I wish the world was in the street just giving him the glory like I like to do. Like just worshiping him. Because prayers were answered, because lives were changed, because my life makes a difference, you know. That's 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 what I was sitting there wishing. I'm sure there's a lot of weed smoking now that is legal now. You can't tell me nothing, Pastor, now, because it's legal. Breaking news. So it's acid, but you don't see me drinking it. Glory to God. I'm going to end this message by saying we should have the mind of Jesus Christ. Your attitude is transformed to the attitude of Jesus Christ. Some of us need to change our attitude. It will change your whole life. Aren't you tired of being rude? Aren't you tired of being mean? Aren't you tired of being evil? Let the Holy Ghost move you. Let the Holy Ghost move you. Let the Holy Ghost move you. Like he did when he moved upon the waters. When God said, let there be. And it was. Let the Holy Ghost move you. Let him get into your hands. Let him get into your feet. God said he would heal the land. Trust and depend on him. Don't depend on nobody else. Just put your trust in Jesus. Everything will be all right. Come on, give the Lord a hand, pray. Ooh. Stop. I better stop. Because I'll be in there having y'all mad at me because I'll still be in there praising them. Because God, I tell you, is so worthy to be praised. When when I saw them worshiping God, um, um, and, and, and the, some of those places I saw people in my spirit was worshiping God. Then I looked at the news and saw them out there in the street, jumping up and down and doing flips and somersaults, not because of Jesus, but because they were celebrating in their own way. Oh, I just said, Father, forgive them. I understand, Lord, what you were saying. But nothing but nobody but Jesus can give you a saying that everybody can just say, Wow. Father, forgive them, Jesus said. For they know not what they do. They're doing all that celebrating. Just keep on, stay tuned. And see what's in store not only in, for the United States but for this world but let me encourage you today 
Jesus Christ the same. Wasn't that the scripture verse yesterday? I think I, I saw it somewhere. Jesus Christ the same. Yesterday, today, and forevermore. See, I'm not concerned about what's happening because Jesus Christ is still on, on the throne. He's still sitting at the right hand of the throne of God, making intercessions on our behalf. So I always remember that, all right? All right, Father, we thank and praise you on today that we know your word to say you will heal our land. But there's some things we got to do first to help us to remember to do those things that we need to do in order to hear from you. Because you first told us to pray. And the only way to talk to you is to pray. Help us to continue to pray, Lord, and, and seek your face on a daily basis. Lord, I ask that those that need their word from you today will come humble, as you said, humble ourselves. Move all pride aside. Move all arrogance aside and come humbly and boldly before the throne of grace. Because there's some, some decisions we got to make. And we can't make those decisions without you. We can't move, breathe, think, walk, talk, eat, sleep without you. We are yours. We are your people. Help us to always remember that we are yours and that you are ours. Help us to be positive in our speaking, to call those things to be not as though they were. Lord, restore today broken homes, broken families. Broken marriages, broken situations that, that we have to put up with and deal with. Restore, Lord. You are restore the breach. You are restore. You can bring things together. You have the final say. Help us to always remember that. No matter what it looks like, you have the final say. Thank you, Lord, that you have the final say in our lives. Thank you, Lord, for healing our land. I'm, I'm calling those things to be not as though they were. Thank you, Lord, for healing our land. Thank you, Lord, for the souls that's in this room right now. Keep us, Lord. Continue to love on us, Lord. Continue to keep your angels of love and protection around us, Lord. We need you. In these last hours, we need you. And Lord, encourage those that are strong in you and they get talked about and they get ridiculed and they have folks looking at them like they're crazy. Encourage them today. Oh yeah, Lord, we know they're out there. Some, some, some of your, your children out there standing boldly for you. And they're being laughed at and talked about, Lord, but encourage their hearts today. Let them know that in the end, you always win. Thank you, Lord, for your word. We thank you for your promises. Now as we go on this season, Lord, we thank and praise you that everything is in your hands. And we don't have a care in this world because we've casted all our cares upon you for you care for us. So we will be forever careful to give your name to praise. We ask it all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Church said amen. Amen. Come on, give the Lord a hand of praise this morning. It's still early. It's still early. Glory to God. So we give God the praise. Quickly, our sisters and brothers watching us on social media. The Lord Jesus Christ. Let me, can, can, I can I tell you something first? My mom, she's just as guilty as any other person. 
that uh that didn't like Trump. She uh used to watch John Hagee all the time. And uh <laughs> I'm talking about the old man Hagee. I gotta tell y'all this, because it's funny. At least it's funny to me. Mama might be mad if she's watching me now. Hey mama. <laughs> Well, mama always tell me, she said, I was watching John Hagee, and he started talking about God bless Donald Trump. I turned that mess off. <laughs> I said, mama, come on now. You can't be like that. Boy, I turned that mess off. She used to love Donald, no, she used to love the, 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 the Democrats, as long as the Democrats was in office. So when Donald Trump got in there, anybody say, we, God, he, he didn't say, I love Donald Trump. He said, God bless Donald Trump. I, fella, I turned that mess off. <laughs> so I, I had to get a good laugh in on y'all, because 99.9% of y'all are Democrats anyway, so I'm sure y'all got a, a kick out of that. Now nah, I digress. <laughs> but I'm here today, this is serious. I'm here today because someone watching me right now, hopefully you still love me even though I voted for Trump. But two, I'm a man of God and I'm here representing Jesus Christ right now. So look beyond my flesh and focus on Jesus for a few minutes. Glory to God. Because Jesus loves you. I know he loves you because of what he did for us over 2,000 years ago. He left his throne in glory, the song says, to bring to us redemption story. He left his throne all of the glamour and glorious royalty and pearls and splendor and gold white gold that is to come down here to save a wretch like me he came to save you too he knew we was going to mess up he knew we weren't going to get it right since the beginning of time because Satan messed up Eve in the garden of Eden both of them was all messed up so Jesus had to come and clean the earth with his blood. He had to shed his blood down here to clean us up and clean us out. He sacrificed his life. His body was beaten, battered, and bruised for us because he knew we was going to sin and fall short of his glory. But oh, we love him so much because he first loved us. And that same Jesus is alive and well today. He lives within my heart. But he's also sitting at the right hand of the throne of God, making intercessions with groanings from on high. He's still praying for you, waiting on you to make up your mind to come to him. Today is the day of salvation, the Bible says. Today when you hear his voice, he's yet speaking to you right now. He said, don't, don't back away from me. Don't, don't, don't run from me. No, 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 no. Come to me. All ye that labor and are heavy laden, I'll give you rest. He said, I know what's best for you. I love you with an everlasting love. He wants to come in your heart today. Today when you hear his voice, don't harden your heart. This is the day that the Lord saved for you to be saved today. Are you ready to give your life to the Lord? Oh, I hope and pray you are. It's real simple. All you got to do, all you got to do is just repeat after me. I'm going to help you out. Just repeat after me. It's not no long drag out prayer. It's just talking to the Lord. It's, it's, it's your way of praying, talking to him. All right? Okay, here we go. Just say, Lord Jesus, here I am. You see where I am. You know my heart. Lord, I thank you for not giving up on me. Lord, I thank you 
for what you're about to do. Now, Lord, I know you're God. And, Lord, I know your son is Jesus, the Savior of the world. Glory to God. Come into my heart. Use me for your glory. I will serve you the rest of my life. In the name of Jesus, amen. Now, if you said that prayer, your name is now written in the Lamb's Book of Life. That when Jesus Christ comes back for all of us, you get to go back with him and live eternally. We got a place to go. It's a place not made with hands. Eternal in the heavens. Oh, I'm excited about that. And I'm excited for you today. Glory to his name. Wherever you are, if you're outside the state of Arizona, go and find a church that preach and teach the word of God. You can continue to watch us on social media. We'll be more than happy to have you fellowship with us. But if you're here in the Valley of the Sun and you want to get your praise on with us, our doors are never closed. As a matter of fact, it ain't closed at all today because it's just nice outside. I ain't have to have the air on today. It's blowing through. Y'all y'all comfortable? It's all, all right. It's good. Just come on. Our information is scrolling on the screen right now. Scrolling on the screen. It's scrolling on the screen for you right now. We'll do all we can to assist you in any way possible. And, and we say God bless you and congratulations. And we're so excited that you gave your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Come on, give the Lord a hand, praise. Glory to God. Glory to God. So you all be encouraged on today. As we prepare for our offering, it's offering time in the house of the Lord. Anybody want to make Greater Faith Christian Church your home? You can do that right now. We're going we're gonna to raise our offerings and we're going to baptize and then we'll be on our way home. Amen. Glory to God. Yeah. Glory to God. Amen. We give God the glory for the victory on today. For those of you watching us on social media, you can go on our webpage, gfccaz.org. There's a give button on the top right side on our webpage. If you want to give your gifts to the Lord, you can. If you are still affiliated with a church and you can tithe and they, can, they have a little button and all that, you know, that, we give God the glory that you're able to do that. For those of you who are not and want to sow here at Greater Faith Christian Church, we'll be more, ha more than happy to receive your seed and it goes in the good ground and we just do it for the kingdom of God and so the Bible says so it could be meat in my house says the Lord so we give God the glory for you and for those of you who want to use your credit cards evangelist over there in the corner to uh, receive your gifts as well reach your hands this way Father we thank and praise you on today for an opportunity to give back to you that which you have blessed us you said give and, you, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over with men, give to our bosom. According to Luke 6, 38, Lord, you showed us how to give, not grudgingly of a necessity. For you love cheerful givers. There are cheerful givers in this room right now. Bless the offering, Lord. Bless those that are giving, Lord. We pray that you will put it on those hearts that are afraid to give in their offerings as tithes as they should. Give them that boldness to have faith and trust you so that they can receive the harvest that you promised us in your word. That you will open up the windows of heaven and pour us our blessings that we won't have room enough to receive. And we give your name the praise and the glory and the honor forevermore. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Church said amen. Amen.
Amen. Thank God for that wonderful message. Say amen, somebody. Thank you, Jesus, for that wonderful word Pastor has given us. And we thank you, Lord, for it. Thank you for us, Lord, being here safe and sound after this very controversial election. A lot of rumors going around, like Pastor was saying. One rumor was that uh, all the hate groups were having initiation this weekend. And the aim was to trouble black people. Uh, it was mainly headed out at black men and black young black men. So keep that in mind, what Pastor was saying. Be vigilant, be mindful. Uh, you never know what's going on and what people are thinking. Because like he said, some, there's some mad folks out there about that. <laughs> really mad. But God is good, and God will protect us as long as we be wise. We be wise. So, Father, we thank you. We praise you right now for this time. Father, we pass before you to bring you what you have laid hold on and claim to, your tithe. Because you said the tithe is yours. We bring the offerings and the seeds also. And Father, let the window of the tithe be open. Let the harvest come forth from the seeds. Let everybody be blessed according to they have given, according to that they have obeyed you. Obedience is better than a sacrifice. Let us do all times what you have laid in our hearts and spirits to do concerning your house, Lord. And we give you honor, we give you praise for it right now. In the mighty and the master's name of Jesus, we pray. Let it be so. Amen. Amen. Come on, give the Lord a hand praise again. Amen. As we prepare for baptism, um, ask the gentleman. Let me see. First of all, come come on this side here, so so I can um, give y'all some stuff and assist y'all. We'll have help over here. And uh, just wait for me at that door right there. Two, my my sister said, <laughs> my sister. I got a text from my sister. My sister said, "Mama gonna get me." <laughs> Oops. I'm used to it. I'm used to it. Yeah. <laughs> we give God the glory. Uh, as we prepare for our baptism, let's continue to pray for our young men as they go down in Jesus' name on today. Um, just be patient. And Miss Terry, it's good to see you. She's looking well on today. That's the Kansas sister, y'all, for those of y'all don't know. Give God the glory that she's here on the day. I, I didn't put her on the spot today. Next time I see her, I'm going to make her sing. Amen. 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 I'm about to find out all the songs she know. Every one of them so that I can, so I can tell her which one I want to hear. Glory to God. But we give God the glory for you on today. Uh, continue to be prayerful for our land. Um, First Lady was saying in, in the word that was saying about her mom playing that number, the amount of money that she needed, the exact amount that she needed is the, listen, was the. It was the actual number that she played. So when I told her how much I needed to go back to school, she said, come on, walk up here so we can play this number, which the, the amount I needed, and that's what number came in. It was pick four. And so I had enough money to go back to school. How you like that? Won't he, Will? Oh, here she go. Although I argued with her the whole time. Why are you wasting money on this lottery? We can, I've been using that for school. Da, 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 all the way there and all the way back. Even if she won, even though she won, but 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 I could just see her now after she won, she was like she do when she up there. Y'all know how she do it, shouting up her hand off. But that's God, you know. 
God will come through when you least expect he will come through. I'm a living witness he will. Oh my God, he's come through. Yeah, so y'all pray for me. The first lady won't kill me if I keep this car. <laughs> no, <I'm> just... <laughs> no, I'm not keeping the car. No, I'm not. Unless they give me an offer, I can't refuse. She better go up there and take it back herself. She said, like free. <laughs> Glory to God. Say, I'm, I want to dismiss. And then once I dismiss, I'm, I'm not, you, I'm not you dismiss. And, and once we dismiss, I want everyone, because Tyrus is going to keep the cameras rolling so that those that want to experience the uh, baptism could do it online as well. Amen? Amen. Our hearts and minds clear, and we stand for a dismissal. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody looking lovely. Glowing. Father, we thank you for this awesome time of worship, God. You had your way today, Lord, and we just thank you, Lord, that you touched the hearts of the people through your word and that we came together, Father, as one, under one roof, under run on social media. We all were one, God. We thank you, Lord, for the message that was forth, that we will apply it to our lives, God, that we will always remember you, God, that to put you first in whatever we do, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for traveling grace and mercy, God, that you always be with us and lead us wherever we go, Father. And we're ever so careful to give your name the praise, the glory, and the honor in the majestic, matchless name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Hey, go with God, y'all. Praise the Lord. For those who want to see the baptism, you can uh, be seated while they are preparing for baptism. And um, as we hear, I just wanted to share with you all, because we're talking about the, the end times in Bible study. And if we uh, look at Matthew 24, as well as Luke 21, it tells us about what we're seeing that's going on in the world today. I just want to warn you all that, that we see many things is happening, and Jesus already told us what was going to come. He said, take heed that no one deceives you, for many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and will deceive many, and you will hear wars and rumors of war. See that you are not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet, for nation will rise up against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famines pestilence and earthquakes in various places all of these are the beginnings of sorrow we've already seen the beginnings of sorrow the pestilence is coronavirus the earthquakes are in various places if you all think about 2020 from the beginning beginning until now there's things that we have not seen happen ever in our lifetime there's things there's 300,000 more people that died in this year than anybody else in the previous years there's earthquakes that I know in North Carolina that took place and ain't never been an earthquake. It's been named how many hurricanes that have taken place that has not happened before. You all don't understand what times we are in. But I'm standing here to let you know that it's high time. It's time to get yourself in order. And you better have your house in order, meaning your temple. I ain't talking about your physical house. I'm talking about God's house, this temple. You better be right with the Lord. The Sunday school lesson was talking about abide in me as I abide in you. If you abide in him, then you ain't got nothing to worry about. It will not come not thee. But it's going to be some stuff going on out there that you all better be aware of, that you've been watchful for, that you don't let this come out by, your, by surprise because Jesus is on his way back. He said the end, that's, that's the beginning of sorrow. This is what's going to happen next. Well, we're talking about an axe now because it says, then they will deliver you up to tribulation and kill you and will be hated by all nations for my name's sake. Luke, it talks about they will take you to court. They will take you and heal you and, and behead you and do whatever. You have to have the mind right now that I'm not taking a mark of the beast. I'm not going to say I'm going to denounce Jesus Christ. I'm not going to give my life to, to, for you to do whatever you want to me to do. I'm going to stand on the word of God. I'm not going to turn away from God. So whatever you got to do, if you want to cut my head off, cut my head off. And I say, Father, forgive them, but they know not what they do. As I leave this place and go to my heavenly home. You all got to have your mind made up. You have to have a strong resolve because you don't know what you're going to come in contact with when you get out there. 
It could be tomorrow. You have to be ready. You have to be ready. But you can't think about, oh, okay, I got to make up my mind now. No, you ain't got time to make up your mind. You got to make up your mind right now. Right now, because these are the times that we're in. It's serious. It's serious. It's time for persecution for the Christians. That's how it started in the early church. They wanted, they wanted to tell about Jesus Christ and spread the gospel, and that's how the gospel got spread. And he said, before I come back, the gospel will be spread all over this nation. It will be spread, but there will be some martyrs. There will be some persecution of the Christians. But you have to make up in your mind, because you will spend eternity in hell if you take the mark of the beast. You ain't got no other options, because you chose to live with Satan. You're branded by Satan. But those who will wait on the Lord and be a good courage and stand on his word and stand on his promise, he has your name written on, his, on your forehead. His name is on your forehead, and your name is written in the man book of life. So whatever they come with, you can't give in. You can't accept whatever they offer you. You have to stand on your word. You have to know your word. There's going to be people that's going to come and try to deceive you, try to fool you, try to trick you. It says it in the Bible. They're coming to deceive you. It goes on to say after the beginning of sorrows that they will deliver you up. Then many false prophets will rise up and deceive many. And because of lawlessness will abound, the love of many will grow cold. We see that every day. Every day. But he who endures to the end shall be saved. Amen. I just had to share that with you all. That you need to know what time we're in. It's serious out there. It's really serious and you need to know. Amen. 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 Glory to God. That's the word. We have to stay in the word of God. Uh, it's easy. It's, we talked about this in Sunday school. It's easy for us to be pulled astray. If you ain't reading your word, if you ain't staying prayed up, you can't hear the Lord. Do you know that the devil know the word? Do you know he know it better than we know it? But he going to take it and twist it and turn it if you don't know it. And he going to fool you and lure you in. So it's important that we know that word. To study ourselves and prove a work of need not be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Not by our own, leaning to our own understanding. You people take the word and they're like, oh, well, the Bible says I can do this. Do you know I heard some man tell a young lady that because Lot's daughter slept with them, that it's okay for him to sleep with them as a father? That's twisting and turning a word in a way that you should not. That is not of God. We're supposed to rightly divide the word of truth based off of God's word. Not our way. It's his way. If it ain't God's way, it's no way. He is the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by him. It's not Buddha. It's not Confucius. It's not Dalai Lama. It's no other way. You can't serve the trees. You can't serve the moon. You have to serve Jesus and Jesus Christ alone. Amen. That's it. God is good. He's awesome. He's amazing. And if you spend time in, with the Lord, he won't, he doesn't do anything without letting his prophets know. Amos 3 and 7. He will re, uh, re, uh, warn you. He will tell you. He will let you know what's going on. And if, he, if you can't hear him, he'll send someone that will help you to know what's going on. But when you stay close and to, to, if you stay in tune with him and you pray in your word, he will reveal it to you. He will make it plain to you. Amen. Amen. Come on, give the Lord a hand. Praise. Come on, we can do better than that. I heard it in there preaching. Yeah, glory to God. Praise the Lord. Hope you were blessed by that. I know I was listening to her in, in, the, in the office. It's, it's a, a joy when I do this because the Bible says as often as you do this, you know, and that's why I'm glad I hear you, Holy Ghost. I hear you, Holy Ghost. Go in there and get the communion for me. Now, what else I'm talking about is often, I've been trying to do that, and I said, I ain't going to forget, I ain't going to forget, and I'm just talking away, and as often as you do this, popped in my mouth. I hear you, Holy Ghost.
this is what we're going to do. This is part of, of what I love to do because the Bible says, he that believes and is baptized shall be saved. Yeah. So if you are saved, it's, it's, it's good to have an experience. Good. It's good to have an experience of uh, being baptized. You're going down, like I always explain, you're going down the old man, and in this case, Jaden and Justin going down the old man and coming up new creatures in Christ. <laughs> old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. And that's all baptism is, really. And, and so, uh, like I said, I've done it twice. I did it when I was four, and I also did it when I, when I received the Lord Jesus Christ here in the Pentecostal church, glory to God, the Temple of Greater Bethel, Bishop Gregory Newman. Uh, no, so we give God the glory for them and their ministry right now. And, and, and so what I want to do is after I baptize, somebody's alarm is going off. Okay, just stop. Oh, it was, it was uh, Corey. Here there, brother. Brother. It was his. While, as soon as I finished the last baptize, the bap, uh, uh, ca uh, candidate, just pass out the uh, communion so we all can have communion together on today. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And, and um, that's just what the Spirit of the Lord want me to do. Terrence and, uh, and Tyrus, make sure they get some and everyone that's in this room that wants communion, they can have it in Jesus' name. Amen? Amen. Is that on, Terrence? Now let's just hope it don't fall in the water. pray God's blessings on him and his family, for this is the best move that you can ever make. And we give God the glory for that. It is my honor to represent the Lord Jesus Christ in saying, in obedience to the command of my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I baptize you, Justin, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. I baptize you, Justin, in Jesus' name. For Jaden, we ask God blessings upon this young man in his life as well. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, with that being said, in obedience to the command of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I baptize you, Jaden, in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost. I baptize you, Jaden, in Jesus' name. <laughs> Right. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand praise. Amen. Amen. 
So if you will, could you pass out the communion, please? I'm going to take mine right here. I don't want to waste it nowhere. Plus the water's good. You good? Okay. That's the body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Corey, you want one? Yeah, let's grab two. Yeah, we serve a great God. Glory to God. The name above all names. We give God the praise, the glory, and the honor. I want to make sure. Yeah. So we can hurry up and let them let them change. But come on, let's hurry up. Come on, let's hurry up. Let the, so that our young men can change. Yeah, I just felt that in my spirit. This is what the Lord wants to do, wanted us to do today. Somebody missing? We make sure that the, the, the make sure the uh, first lady and uh, sister Ken to get theirs. Make sure Terrence and uh, Tyrus get theirs. Oh, here they go. Where's the kinder? Okay. This is the broken body. Has anyone been overlooked? We don't want to leave no one out. Give Dalen his. He, he gets one. Isaiah gets one. Do they all have one? Good. This is the broken body of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. While I'm standing here in the water, I think about Jesus, what he did when he told John the Baptist, baptize me. The Spirit of the Lord ascended upon him like a dove. This is who we represent. That same Jesus hung, bled, and died on the cross. He was beaten, battered, and bruised for you and I for such a time as this. And we give God the glory. And it's an honor to have communion with you all on today. Let us commune together. It's also an honor. To ask the question, what can wash away my sins? What can make me whole again? My shit, my shit. Oh, precious is that flow that makes it white as snow. No other fount I know, nothing but the blood of Jesus. It reaches the highest mountain. Hallelujah. It flows to the lowest valley. The blood that gives us strength from day to day will never lose its power. There is power. Power, power, wondrous working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power, wondrous working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. The blood still works. I'm here to tell you the blood still works. Hallelujah for the blood on today. Let us commune together. Lord Jesus, as we leave this place, I praise you will never leave your presence because you're always with us. You'll never leave us or forsake us. You said it in your word, and we're standing on your word today. Lord, go with us the rest of this day, the rest of this week, until we all meet again. We'll continue to praise your name forevermore. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the two souls that went down in your name on today. Continue to bless them and look over them and keep them and help them to draw closer and closer to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, don't let them forget that you are number one in their lives. We'll be ever careful to give your name to praise. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we pray. Thank you, Lord. Amen and amen. Shake somebody's hand and tell them God bless you as you leave this place. Come on, say testimony. Come on, say testimony. Grab that mic right there. Turn it on for Corey. Let everybody hear your testimony. First of all, I love y'all. Sorry I've been out of touch. The COVID thing got me shook. Jesus got me, but I still have to. So anyway, I have to be here. But let me tell you guys something. Like here, and I hear this song, How Great Is Our God, and like yeah. the communion. I'm like, hey, let me let you guys know. Like I don't know if you really know the power God is putting inside of us, guys. Like, hey, who's realtors? Realtors. You're a realtor, right, Dane? Yeah. Realtors. It's hard right now. The housing market. 
I went and got approved for an FHA loan. I didn't want it. I want an FHA loan. They capped me $330,000. i am like, God, help me. I was in prison five years ago. I've been out of prison five years. I make so much. But God just blessed me beyond belief. They gave me an FHA loan. I didn't want it. I'm like, why am I not wanting it? Because it's $330,000 is a cap. Me and my family need a bigger home. My loan officer, Corey, I think we have to wait a few months. I'm like, nah. Run the numbers again. My income's right. My credit's right. They ran the numbers three weeks later, which is unheard of. They, they approved me for a conventional loan for 400 grand. Like, I'm not bragging. I'm giving God the glory. Like, how, how, how do I do that? We can all do it. Like, it's crazy the, the ability that God and the stuff he's putting inside of me right now to not be a provider for my family, but be an influence of those around me, you know? Like, I'm moving to a home, my first home I bought over 400 grand, and I got enough to put down on it, too. Like, it's crazy. And, like, like and I was like, about, and here's the thing. We almost got the home for 330000 I was so upset. And then the realtor backed out, and two days later, I got to prove the other one. If I would have got, gotten, I was like, God, just give me the house I want. He'd shut that one down, close that door, and open up this door over here. And, and I was sad over here. I'm like, bye, Lord. And then two days later, I had this. I'm like, whoa. So I just want to share that, guys. Be encouraged. I know it's a tough time for all of us right now, but God is good. And, like, I love y'all. Thank you, All right, I'm done. Love you, bro. See you, see you.